something great performances last week for the Army Black Knights. That's right. The country and the face-off. We're underway here this afternoon at Mikey Stadium. Holy Cross gets the first. And as we mentioned at the top of the broadcast, Holy Cross playing a little bit better and opens the scoring right away. First possession. A nice shot from down. Freshman gets the Holy Cross crew. And their feelers out. Well, no better way to get things going than on extra man here. Nice opportunity there. This is a Holy Cross defense. They're not going to. And a little one-on-one -on -one action. To the flank and a nice goal slotted in between the legs. More and there's point number 100 to start the game. And it's all knotted up. They can beat you in so many ways. And taking it to the net, a dunk shot and they'll score again. Another uncontested opportunity. Uses his legs to get to the net and dunk. Got depth and Ryan Spazito gets underneath. Continue the development of the guys behind him to give him some rest at times. Iker rips one from downtown and scores. Continuing his campaign, three to one for the Black Knights. And Jackson Iker steps in. Let's William Stahl carries at the top of the key and gets things active for the Holy Cross Crusaders. They're two and three this year. They already eclipsed back of the net. It doesn't matter who gets the credit. An extremely unselfish offense. And they'll go to the net. Another shot score. And Gunner Fellows finishes 10:34 on the board in the first quarter. And Gunner Fellows, he... And the Crusaders get to the interior. And Aaron Pass is collecting. Working things on offense. A defender falls. Fellows with the ball behind the back. And it's in. His second of the contest. What a skill play. Black Knights. And we talked about Gunner Fellows to put the ball in the back of the net. Right there. Runs out of an angle. And if you're Holy Cross, a lot of time left in this game. Stall taken down towards and now defending for the Crusaders. They work it around. Plunk it. Picks his spot and rips. This is perfect offense. Right. Delivers right here. Time room bullseye. But it starts. That's the ultimate respect, especially as a freshman. So Botek working it and he's taken down. Ball comes out. Test. And working it to the outside, on to the interior, a bounce shot and a goal. Verifying who that was as the team huddles around the player who scored. That was Henry Sheehan, Jr. And Sheehan gets underneath and with a... ...play pass and catch behind the net. Fellows looking over the top, works it out to Iker. To the point, more and a shot and a nice save there by Friars. Behind the net, tries to turn around the corner, but he's harassed by a defender. Another one-on-one -on -one opportunity at two. A nice score there by Ryan. Seven to two with 14 and a half on the clock in the first quarter. The Black Knights on the offense again. A dunk. I believe he was looking for. And the Crusaders look to get to the inside. And they got to go. Ten seconds. And a nice shot for the Crusaders. Jude Lynch with his second of the game. He he's gets things started for them here. Yeah, he's done a nice job. The sophomore out of Ridgewood, New Jersey. And another shot in goal. Crusade. And a great shot. Matt Major, who we just mentioned. And Major. So for the Crusaders, that's a way to build confidence. Scoring on a unit that is really shut. And they'll work it around to Morin. A nice dive. And goal! What a dart of a sh the net eight to four. And we talked about before the game, and you have to come and approach him under control. The way the defender reacts to get into the play, Sullivan getting kind of into the belly of the attacking zone to create a look to create a and just an embarrassment of riches. A lot of talent in the attacking end for the Black Knights. And it looks like the Crusaders got able to capitalize on a few opportunities. The stall finds a man and chest blocks it away. And that was a look from Jude Lynch, who has two goals on the in his stick for most of the contest when they possess in the attacking end. Working it from the X, they'll peel around the corner. A wide shot. It's gotten better every single week. This is a player that is getting a majority of his starts 
and moves it off. Bouncing off of that play. Shoulder down. Pass out, Morin. Guy's the limit for this team. Really nice block there by Pilot. Laying the body down on the line. The league, extremely deep league. You always want to get a Patriot League championship. That's your ticket to the NCAA tournament. The Atta Conference. The perimeter of the zone. Close to a good stick there on Stoll. Takes a shot and it hits off a stick and goes out of play. End. Kicking off the second half of action in Patriot League play. Them in the second half. See if they can duplicate the production from the first half. Plunkin now behind the net. Son of the late great Cornell head coach Richie Moran. And a shot, Iker down and gets the Black Knights to double digits in the contest. The whole field, and he finds Iker, who's going to increase his angle to the middle of the field, and he's going to get Army. That opens up his passing game from that spot. So nice job by him to find Iker. Iker again, ops the pass from the top of the key, another shot. It'll be 11 to 4. A top shelf shot while he was falling. 10 and 13 saves in the third and fourth quarter so far this season. So the goaltending has come through in a slot shot and defense a soft spot. And Spazito again gets on the score sheet. Yes, and right here he finds Spazito. As I mentioned, we've seen flashes of brilliance from this team and another shot and goal. Going to get to the middle of the field where he has the most angle to shoot and perfect placement on that shot. Layers, but a lot of players from really good high schools. And a top shelf shot and goal. Evan Plunk is a goalie. 13 of 5. Arm significant margin. Plunk it. Finding the back of the net again. You're starting to see the Crusaders are able to win a few more draws as Galetti controlled a lot in the first half against Lafayette. And four, that's number 14 for the Crusaders. He's been on the board today to put a sixth on chess. And stop. Back out to Bjork at the point. Eicher to the side, surveying his options. Head on a swivel. To the net. A dunk shot. Finn McCullough. He's going to take the pass from Eicher and take the extra step to greatness. Increases his angle. Passes when they're disrupted. There were about five passes in 10 seconds, and they were able to capitalize. Iker with his head on a swivel. More and dunks a shot with another goal. And this is just a nice give and go here. Burek finds Jacob Morin, and he does the rest. You don't see a ton of give and goes in Kyle's. Talked about the development of the second midfield. Salou with a spin moving shot and goal. A nice play from far range. 15. Gonna go to his left, roll back to his right where he has more angle to shoot. Let's it fly. And what a shot. And this is a player that entered the contest with a single goal on the season. And another goal. And they're really pouring it on here, adding a 17th goal. Which had six in O markets. Their highest ranking since 1982. They finished that season with the nine and it's going. And again, the last time they won against the Black Knights, 2015. And that'll make it 17 to seven. Good recognition on an isolated opportunity. You can get it done with both hands. Splits right to left. Not a ton of angle. Plunk it over to Bjork, who takes a shot and another save from Long. Ball still loose. And the Crusaders come away with it. Nine on the clock. Botech. Inside, outside move. Looks for a lane and a shot. Bounces way out of play. Just through the crease. They might see a little bit more zone. That, uh, Holy Cross going man to man right there. And a nice save. A team. A lot of tradition here in West Point. A lot of tradition of excellence and success. Oh. Who still has the ball? 20 in purple, a shot. You know, we all think they can accomplish in terms of down the stretch. 
Your big guys need a breather. You need those guys to rely on. And another nice thing is here on game day. A lot of these guys, there's still some starters mixed in there. And a whip shot from Ward. Minutes on the clock, lead by 10 goals. And a nice block there as the shot clock runs out, along with another save. Only going to help this team moving forward. And you're seeing how even their second string guys are adding to this. He's a guy who was supposed to have a big role for this team a year ago. And unfortunately was lost for the season early on. And his recovery. Yeah, absolutely. And it's good to see a lot of these guys getting their opportunity, as we mentioned. And just build, continuing to build the goal. This, these are players that know what it's like to win. They just have to find the rhythm, find the pieces to go together. And a goal, 17. And I believe that was Sheehan again. Did and it's led to opportunities like this. And another shot high and a hard hit. Coming down the pike there, 5-0. A lot of the good plays you can take home with you really build the confidence of your team. Stall with great footwork to set up a man in front, a shot and a nice save there by Byrne. Defensive play for it's an entirety. Yeah, one of the toughest. A nice play circling from behind the net and a score behind the net. Get out in front, circling around the crease and get a bounce shot past the key this afternoon. Well done by Army. On to the next one. And with that, we'll conclude our broadcast for.